back to another week in the life of a new grad nurse, y'all. My name is Yana. If you guys are new, welcome. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back to another vlog. So I did vlog earlier, but I just realized that this is the beginning of the vlog. So I probably just will exit that out because I was just in the car talking. But today is Thursday, you guys. And right now it's like, what time is it? Seven. It's seven o'clock. Time is like flying by. It's 7 p.m. I was off today because this is my weekend to work. So I have a four day stretch starting tomorrow. Um, so I work Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And I've been on my regular schedule, y'all. And let me just tell you guys. So now officially I've had four shifts on my own. Cause I started, my first shift on my own was Friday and then I worked Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And let me just tell y'all, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Well, actually Wednesday really wasn't that bad. Um, but Monday and Tuesday were crazy like Monday when I first got to work I had mind you my supervisor that I was telling you guys that super bomb um, That's been there with me. She went on vacation for two weeks So she was there for my first day by myself But then Monday I was kind of like on my own and it was just I had to rely on the staff that's there and the charge nurse because obviously it's their job to help me um, and stuff like that so Monday I get to work and i got a discharge the day nurse is like hey we just got discharge orders for this resident um and this both of the social workers were off who helped a lot with the um, process the program director was leaving so basically it was going to be me um dealing with this discharge i had to the biggest thing was i had to get all the medications i had to count them all write it all down do all this paperwork stuff but i ended up being able to actually get through it they basically gave me a checklist and was like all right well you know you got it and it's like well i'm gonna do my best you know what i mean i was definitely overwhelmed um but it ended up working out i ended up getting her discharged getting her medications together and it was a busy day but i made it through then y'all tuesday i go in and what was going on when i got there someone had just had a seizure um, like literally shift changes at three o'clock. So they had a shit seizure at 2.56 and it lasted for six minutes. So that required a lot of paperwork that also the day nurse was not able to stay and complete. So then that fell on me. On top of that, I also was short. So I ended up being on med, both med passes for the first time. So it was very busy y'all. And I was doing diabetics and medication very late and yeah i was super overwhelmed when i clocked out i was like what the heck it's just such a different world like being a nurse and transitioning from like the cna role to like the nursing role because now there's truly like so much responsibility and you don't i didn't even realize all the components of what a nurse does and i'm like i just was overwhelmed so just getting into that being a new nurse period and just it's a lot, you know, but I am liking it still so far. Like I said, it was a little overwhelming these last couple of days. So this next uh, little four day stretch will be interesting and it'll be the weekend. And typically y'all know the weekends are when, are when people, you know, they're short staff and stuff. People are on vacation and stuff like that. So I'm interested to see how this weekend is gonna go. I'm anticipating that I probably will be passing meds. And so, now I can just kind of expect that and know like what's going on but I'm building every single day and I'm becoming a little bit of a stronger nurse every single day but it's definitely going to take work and I'm going to tell y'all nursing school does not prepare you guys for real world nursing and I feel like people say that but it's so true like you have to truly start practicing on humans it has nursing school prepares you to pass the NCLEX and to think like a nurse and that's great but like the real world and true application comes through time and experience. And so that's hard for me because I want to just be good at it. And I am, don't get me wrong, but there's so much to learn still about like everything. And when they said like, it's going to be different based on which facility you work and the settings that you're in, that's very true. You know, I work in this like setting, so it's very different for me. Um, but I love it because it's like the perfect mix of psych and medical because there's still so many medical skills that I do. I do wound care, I do um, medications, I do diabetic stuff, AccuCheX. So, you know, I get to do lots of insulin, I change sensors, I do lots of injections that have to do with um, diabetes. I also do weight loss injections. 
Um, a lot of our medication, a lot of our residents also get some of their psych meds through injections. So I give lots of intramuscular injections, which is good for me because in a TCU, I may not get that because they're not going to be getting those kind of injections. I might do AccuChecks and, you know, I'll be doing meds, but I'm going to be able to sharpen my skills. We do manual blood pressure. So, so my vitals taking is going to be extremely strong. Um, and I get a lot of autonomy. So this is going to be great for my resume, just the skills that I'm learning, but it is a lot. So anyways, that's that y'all. So it's Thursday. I'm starting the vlog here because like I said, I about to ha I'm about to have my four day stretch and yeah, my off day. I've just basically been running around earlier. I went on a lunch date with my friend. We have not seen each other since my graduation party. And so we went to this fun place that she like her sister put her on to and she put me on to y'all it was my first time trying it and I, i'm it was so good like and i'm sad i didn't bring the rest with me i was just telling her that like i don't know what i was thinking but it was so good i was putting chili oil in there and all kind of stuff basically doing exactly what she did but it was really good i got the brisket pho or pho so i'll try to include um, a clip or video I should have been vlogging more but I'd be forgetting we were in the moment we were catching up and talking so yeah we had a lot of things that we had to talk about including the job because it's like it's a lot it's definitely overwhelming but it's exciting at the same time you know it's a nursing is one of those jobs that there's a lot to like it's a I don't want to say like a stress induced but it's like a fast Oh, uh-uh, that's a big old flying in here, y'all. Ew. I'm going to have to get her in a second. But, yeah, it's like a fast pace. Like, I can't just imagine what it is, how fast it will actually be in the hospital. Anyway, so we went to lunch, and then after that, I decided I was going to go and see the Dollar Tree over there. And, y'all, they had so many of the dupes, like the Native Body Wash and the Neutrogena stuff, skincare and all that stuff. Um, and so they were super stocked up. So I grabbed a couple things for the house <coughs> and I went to Walmart as well to get some groceries and a couple other things. So we got a little bit of a haul. We're gonna start with Dollar Tree. First of all, y'all know I'm trying to get better with my books. So my collection has been growing, but honestly y'all, I don't know. I haven't been reading as much as I should be, but I really am trying to like replace just my scrolling time and phone time with other habits. So anyway, I was surprised to see this book by Tabitha Brown at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. Everyone talks about her. I don't know a lot about her. Honestly, I'm not going to lie, but I do know she's a very well-known, popular, motivational type of influence. Um, and so I was just like, let me see what this is about. This is $1.25, so yeah, this is called Feeding the Soul because it's my business, finding our way to joy, love, and freedom. See, so, yeah, I'm interested to see like what her story is and things like that. So the next thing I got is actually something that I found on TikTok, well, saw on TikTok that was like viral and I have not found them anywhere, but these are the large travel facial cloths. And these um, basically are like little compressed, paper towels or facial cloths I guess you just wet them up excuse me and it helps you you wet them up and then you can just wipe, wipe your face with it so I wanted to try them out so I got two I don't want to be greedy they come up five so we'll be putting this in our little routine probably tonight because I want to do a mask but yeah I picked two of those up another thing I've seen is this salicylic and pha persistent body care exfoliator and cleanser wash and it just says it's a salicylic jesus salicylic acid um treatment they say that this is a really good um acne wash and it has the same ingredients as like the name brand one there's this girl on tiktok that goes around comparing labels and stuff like that so i'm gonna try it and see I don't really like the smell. I guess I don't know what I expected to smell like. But yes, I got that. And then I got these um, fragrance in wash fragrance boosters. 
I actually got these for, I like to sprinkle these under the mats of my car or you can put them in little transparent little, you know, mesh baggies, which I might do. You can set them around in your room just to keep everything fresh. Or you can put some in your wash, um, which I might do that as well because I do need to wash today, wash my scrubs. I was going to get me some scrubs from Walmart, but I didn't really care for the ones they had. So that's something that's on my agenda tomorrow because I need some more scrubs. I've been, subscri I've been surviving on what I got. And that's not gonna work no more. Okay. Next from Dollar Tree, I got um, just some car fresheners, and this is in the midnight cool for my car. Um, I need to get a car wash, but it's raining. I got just a Lady Speed stick deodorant, some Dial Anti-Bacterial <clears throat> Gold Soap, y'all. This is ooh, this with the African net sponge is life changing. And then you can wash with your body wash after that to smell, but this stuff gets you so clean. So I got a new bar in that because I was out. And then I got a thing of hair ties because I can never find any and I really needed some. And the last two things were from Ioni. Two things again, influenced by TikTok, but they came out a collection of a whole bunch of makeup. And these are the two things that intrigued me. So the first thing is the mattifying powder um, by Ioni and it says just barely there and it's like a translucent, translucent <clears throat> mattifying powder and I'm all about that because I'm going to be doing my makeup more because I feel like since I don't do my makeup anymore I've kind of lost my skill a little bit so yeah I want to do something about that and then I got the finishing glow and this is in the sparkle rose gold or rose succulent and this is just like a bronze like finishing spray and I don't know how it would look on your my makeup but I definitely thought this would be really nice like for my skin at the beach at outdoor activities that kind of thing so that's everything I got from <clears throat> Dollar Tree that was not household related at Walmart I picked up couple underwear um they just, some of their briefs they were like three dollars i want to say so i just picked up a yellow pink and a black pair and it's so crazy because i'm in that stage where i have lost some weight like i've lost like 20 pounds now and so i'm not really like knowing what size to get because i'm like in between and getting smaller and continuing and i also decided me and my accountability partner actually decided we're going to go back to the gym so yeah anyways i got some spring value spring valley i mean extra strength um hair skin and nail vitamins <clears throat> with biotin in them and collagen support and these are actually cute and pink but i've been wanting to make sure that i take those for my nails and for my hair and all that stuff because i have to get better with my supplements like i have to um, and then I got this, I got this, um, little travel case for my soap, my little bar of soap. And then the clearance rack, honestly, y'all, they had a lot of cute stuff on the clearance rack, but I got these like yoga flare pants. They were five bucks, super comfy, just some yoga flare pants. And then I got this cute little tennis, pleated tennis skirt. Y'all, this was $8. What? I cannot believe that. Super cute. And it comes with the built-in shorts. And, oh, that's it. So, yeah. That's my little haul, y'all. So, I'm about to get ready to put all this stuff up. And then, I don't know what I'm about to do, actually. Right? I just want to do that little haul and intro. And I'll talk to you guys later. Hey, guys. Happy Friday. It's currently 2.43. We're heading to work right now. And so I'm, I'm in the express lane. So, yeah, 2.43. We got to be to work at 3. It's a little traffic, like, on that side because it's starting to be rush hour. But I can just take the little express lane right down this little, right downtown where I need to go. Anyways, y'all. So, I went and got my nails done this morning. Um, one of my friends... One of my friends, her cousin does nails. And so, I don't know, her last few sets were super bomb. So I'm like, you know, I need to go to her. So 
since I started going to her and I actually love my nails y'all I'm not if you guys know me or you guys have been watching the vlogs whenever I get nails I never really get designs I never do freestyle I'm always super basic like I get a solid shade I just started really getting more shades than like pinks and like nudes and stuff like that but I was just super always like basic um, I don't know why that's just what I used to like and then I've just been as more at home nail techs have become a thing like well just nail techs in general outside of the traditional nail shop I did the creativity with nail sets is just mind-blowing and so I just wanted to try something different and I think I'm gonna be hooked so all I did was tell her that I wanted pink because that should be no surprise and I let her do the customization I didn't have no inspo picture this headband is gonna really irritate me but I didn't have any inspo picture or anything. So, yeah, that was different. But they turned out so cute, y'all. Um, I'm filming. I'm supposed to be filming a maintenance vlog. So, um, I won't show too much, but it's so cute. You probably can't even see. But I'm trying to pay attention to the traffic, too. But, yeah, y'all, that's that. So, we are getting our little glow up on because these eyebrows need to be done so bad. I didn't have time to go to the nail shop. I mean, go to get my eyebrows done because she doesn't open up to 11 and she be so busy. So it's like, if you don't get there early, like your wait typically can be like an hour to get your eyebrows threaded. And she's worth it and everything, but I just haven't had the time. And I don't know what I was thinking now that I think about it because I get my eyelashes done tomorrow and the main purpose of me wanting to go and get my eyebrows done before I went and got my lashes done was because when you're getting your eyebrows threaded you have to like hold your lashes down and stuff like that and I just feel like that's not good for a fresh lash set to be doing that my eyes was watering like I just didn't want that and I, I forgot I was so thirsty to make my nail appointment that I forgot. So it's cool. I'm just gonna have to do that because my lash appointment is tomorrow morning. And since I work this shift, I don't have, there's no way I can go and get my eyebrows done before the appointment. Um, I might have time to do it after, but I do need my eyebrows done like so, so bad. Hey guys, happy Saturday. So we're heading to work right now, it's 2.38 and um we're heading to work i had a lash appointment this morning so we're back and better you guys it's crazy like how lash extensions can just make you feel like a thousand times more just put together like you just put so much effort in the only thing now that i'm missing is my eyebrows and then doing something to my hair if originally i was going to get my hair braided but i decided that i'm going to wait on that and I was thinking about getting like some little clip-ins, some curly hair clip-ins that could actually just match with my hair. Because I thought about actually getting a curly sew-in. Um, as you guys can see, my curls are thriving. But the shrinkage is real. And I truly need to find me some natural hair products that I really, really like. I need to find me a, a regimen that is really, really good for me. Um, but also, I need to just get better with like oil in my hair and all that. So, I may end up just putting this in a slick bag, but I don't even have the proper stuff to, like, really slick my hair back and keep it back. Because I'd be hot at work, y'all. Um, it should be kind of a busy night. Last night, I, I did end up being on both man passes. But, it honestly went a lot better than the first time I was on both man passes. I was much later. I got a little bit smarter with all my things use my free time a little bit more wisely and I was able to just come in and prepare for my shift and so you know that's just a part of the game with like nursing I feel like you can come in and sometimes like depending on what that report is like and what's going on you know you might not have time to sit down and slowly like figure out what you got to do for the day you know what I mean so anyways um yeah that's that I'm heading to work Hey guys, 
stretch of work and shift. Wait a minute, what am I talking about? Hey guys, happy Monday. So, we are currently heading to work. This is shift 4 of 4. Um, this is my weekend to work. So essentially, I work the Friday and the Monday after, and then I'm off tomorrow, and I'm definitely ready to be off. This was my first weekend um, working since I started, and honestly, it wasn't that bad. Um, a lot of residents, it seemed like, were gone. I did pass meds um, both days, but I didn't have, like, a lot of other stuff going on. And I think that's where it starts to get overwhelming, where it's like, you have to pass meds, which takes a lot of your time. And then when you when I pass meds versus when our CNAs pass meds, it's different because they see the nurse and now they want to tell you about a medication change if they want and I knew this and I knew that. Or if I have a lot of physical health checks or a lot of people who just had any procedures or things that now they need to be monitored, it's hard for me to do full head to toe assessments um, and or I have to really be strategic because then I got to still do diabetic cares and I got to still pass meds and then people want PRNs and then there's treatments that still need to be done and you know injections that still need to be done and DUAs that still need to be collected so it's just like learning how to balance those things and then for me like my first couple of days it seems like I kind of got some odd things so discharges so now I have done this will be my third discharge today my first day I think I walked into a discharge and then um, yesterday I had an early discharge. She was actually supposed to discharge today. She ended up discharging yesterday, but she's not all the way discharged because unless you have doctor's orders to discharge, we can't give you all your medication. So she did discharge in the fact that she moved out. She does not live there anymore, but as far as her medications, she has to come back every three days and we have to package her meds. So that was done. I had to sign discharge paperwork with her yesterday, explain that to her, make sure she understands how to take her medication since we're giving it to her to now self-administer since she's moving out of the facility. I got my coffee, y'all. I'm almost to work, getting ready to get off on the exit, hoping that there's some parking and it's a good day. I know I'm gonna have a little bit more nursing stuff to do, but when I checked yesterday, I was not on medication. So hopefully no one called in because that's what happened yesterday. Hey y'all, it is much later on. It's after work now. It's currently 12.37 and i just got in the house and got rained on so literally all my clothes are wet but i wanted to vlog and tell you guys about how my first four day stretch went and honestly it was pretty pretty decent um the weekend like i said went really well tonight shift went pretty good as well i was able to do some there's like we have a a resident that has uh, lymphedema and she has some very specific like lymphedema compression wraps and I'm not going to lie, y'all, like ace bandages and stuff. I just, I don't know what it is, but I didn't really like it. And I guess I didn't really like it because maybe it takes a lot of concentration. And it really doesn't even take a lot of concentration. You just have to make sure, like, once you figure it out, like, you go with the flow. But basically, I felt like we kind of breezed past that part. Um, so anyway, I don't have a lot of experience, like, doing the ace bandage like wraps and lymphedema these lymphedema wraps are like very specific instructions like there's literally a doctor's order or um for these wraps so there's three different bandages three different sizes and like her leg our leg is very swollen so it's like important that you do it well she gets them done every 48 hours and typically it falls on the daytime nurse and she's more comfortable with her but I'm starting to actually build my rapport with my 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 patients, my residents. I want to say patients so bad, and I don't know why, because I've never worked in a hospital setting where we even call them, call the patients patients. I've worked in clinics, I guess, where we've called them patients, and I've worked for hospitals like in the scheduling realm, so I guess maybe that's where I get patients from, but I've worked in a lot of facilities, so resident should be like super natural and I swear I say patience all the time but anyways um I'm starting to build a rapport with my resident so they're starting to just feel more comfortable and it kind of helps that the nurse who I'm replacing ha is gone I guess for two weeks because I've just been figuring things out and I feel like sometimes that's the best way that I learn is just jumping in and I feel like every day I truly learn and get a little bit better and you know like it just is different 
So today was a pretty good day. I did the lymphedema wraps. This was my first time. I was a little bit nervous because when I got trained on it, like she's really particular about how you do them and it can be hard. And it was like three of us. And so I went in there by myself. She showed me the video and I watched the video a couple of times and she corrected me a couple of times, but I was just open to criticism. And that's why perspective and mindset is everything. Cause I feel like when you let things irritate you, like that's when it becomes like a really big, like task. And it didn't take as long as it takes the daytime nurse, probably because, you know, people get frustrated and I get it, but this is my first time. So I needed all the guidance because I did not remember exactly the step-by-step -step. you got to do like figure eight and then you got to wrap around this one and then you got to you know make sure you're not on the ankle joint um yeah so I definitely need to refresh her but she said I did really good so that was kind of a highlight because sometimes one thing I can say especially working in like psych like I'm so used to working with patients and the rapport you build is a lot different because um, they're like older adults, but unless I was working in memory care, nothing's wrong with their mind. So you kind of have this good relationship, whereas you have people who have like psychiatric diagnosis and uh, mental illness and, you know, things like that, they, their moods variate so much so you truly cannot like i don't know when you have wins with them basically and they're happy and they're on the you just need to run with it you know and if they don't like you one day or they flip out on you the next day like you just got to understand so anyways <sighs> i'm tired y'all i'm off tomorrow super excited uh, a couple things on my agenda. I need to, the last thing, first thing I need to do is get my eyebrows done. She has to open up to 11, so I won't be the first, first thing I do. But I need to get my eyebrows done. And then we need to get some more scrubs um, for work. Because these little scrub outfits I've been coming up with is tired, okay? I also need to do laundry tomorrow. Um, get a couple of things. I think I might go to Sam's Club. I want to get a couple of snacks and stuff for work. I do usually eat the, excuse me, eat dinner at work, but, um, excuse me, I just want to make sure that I have, like, healthy things, give me some protein shakes, more fruit, because I'm trying to really get it together. I'm also getting back in the gym starting tomorrow. We officially decided we're going to just go back with Planet Fitness. It's half the price, and honestly, LA Fitness wasn't bad. It was, like, $50 a month. But I just really was not using the amenities. We would just go and use the machines, use the treadmills, and all that stuff is at Planet Fitness. Um, and it is it was convenient because it's so close. But, I mean, we'll just have to, you know, do what it does. Because that $50-some dollars a month is not bad compared to, like, Lifetime, but... Um, and then you do get that pool and stuff, but actually I think I'm going to see if I can get a discount at Y membership as well, even if I got to pay for both, because I used to go to the Y all the time as a kid. My mom had us memberships to the Y, like a family membership for years. And like, we would all go, me, my brother, and my sister, we would go. And then when I got old enough to take us, like we would go and do like, when we didn't have a membership, like in Georgia, we would get like day passes. They give you like a guest pass so you can go to anyone and swim in a pool. I would check the hours and we would be outside, okay? I That's one thing I definitely miss about like Georgia. Like everybody has a pool. So there were so many pools. Like my mom's always had a pool. She has a pool right now. And I'm like, I want to swim so bad. Like now I'm about to take this stuff off, do my little skincare. I got all the skincare in the world because I got to wash my lashes do my normal or wash my face and stuff and that's not even everything oh but i did want to shoot shout these out these large travel facial cloths from the dollar tree these are tea y'all i showed you guys earlier in the vlog how big they get absolutely love these and they just they really made wash my face like super easy so definitely will recommend and if i see these Every time I see these, I will get more. Because $1.25, you can't beat them. Comes with five. I think I'm going to end this vlog here, you guys. Because we're not doing nothing else. Tomorrow, I'm going to be on a whole other vibe. Maybe I'll do a day in the life, an off-day vlog. Like a full off-day vlog. 
and or will start a new vlog because this is starting to get long this was the end of my four day stretch y'all wasn't very eventful adjusting to the schedule is just that i am me adjusting to the schedule because it feels like i don't do much but work which i'm more than grateful for but i do want to start balancing like so next vlog you'll start to see that because we're going to start going to the gym and just have a more of a routine so that we don't slip away so anyways i love you guys thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog and i will see you guys in the next video bye